Look at this photo. Observe the colour harmonies, the girl's shirt, makeup, the petals. Notice how her hand and flower frame her face and how the rose petals are artfully sprinkled in the hair and water. How the girl looks asleep or dreaming. How the landscape format and her face tilted down make it look as if she is falling, slipping, sinking. It's an obvious reference to Shakespeare's Ophelia slipping into the stream in Hamlet, but it also has a hint of the Sleeping Beauty fairy tale, of falling into a dream. This staged photo is by one of my 12-year-old art students doing what I call the Mega Photography Challenge for Primary School Students, the Creative Headshots Photography Challenge. Hello, I'm Rob, the art teacher. I have degrees in art and art history, and I've taught art for more than four decades. I've taught all ages from 7 to 70. I've also taught teachers. I love all things art, and I love teaching. In these short videos, I will share art tips, art projects, and lesson ideas that you can try at home or in your classroom. Remember that cool photo at the start? How did the girl get to be lying in the bath? And what is the Creative Headshots Photography Challenge? In this photography project, I challenged the students to take a single headshot in a way they had never done before. I asked them to combine painting or makeup, lighting, masks or mask making, create a compositional mood of dream, of fantasy, action, mystery, and theatrical staging with no visual distractions, and all this in the coolest photography style without resorting to in-camera filters. Let's see what the students did. You'll see some paired photos here, pairs of photos by the same student. After students had handed in their first photo, and we had discussed these in class, I asked the students to create a second, entirely different photo shoot. I suggested that they use a different style, different methods, and even perhaps create something entirely opposite to what they had first done. This was to encourage self-awareness of their own creative flexibility. You'll see the first photo on the left and the second on the right. So in this student's work we see a carefully staged headshot on the left using coloured lighting and makeup and on the right a consciously spontaneous approach while out walking in natural light and without makeup. The photo on the left also reveals the ingenuity of these students. Here is what the student said about her approach. I used green and pink makeup. I put a pink blanket on my stuffed animals and drew a green and pink background on my large tablet. Then I turned the screen brightness to the max, took my phone in portrait mode and with one hand I took the photo while with the other hand, I was holding the tablet near my face to make the colours appear on my face. Prior learning in our photography modules is also useful. Here, the student has creatively drawn on our skill sessions on near and far compositions and controlled focus and blur techniques. Here, the inset video documenting this student's process is typical of the technical imagination and ingenuity of many students. In this case, patience and planning, teamwork, multiple light sources, understanding the potential of long exposures, and the joys of self-processed analog film.
This student has created a transformational shift from her glittery party face on the left. In the second photo, she is embedded in the natural and metaphysical worlds, with leaves in her now dark hair, and the tales of the bazaar and the hidden life of trees on her mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and share it. If you want to see more short videos with art tips, art projects and lesson ideas, please subscribe to my channel, Rob the Art Teacher.